Two religions of salvation, one converts into sub-Saharan Africa, Christianity and Islam. Both arrived in Africa as faiths introduced by foreign peoples. Christianity reached Egypt and North Africa during the first century AD. Alexandria became one of the most prominent centers of early Christian thought, and North Africa was the home of St. Augustine. For several centuries, Christianity remained a Mediterranean tradition whose appeal did not reach the sub-Saharan Africa region. About the middle of the 4th century, Christianity established a foothold in the kingdom of Aksum, located in Ethiopia. As missionaries visited Ethiopia, the kings converted to Christianity. The kings of Aksum were some of the first royal converts to Christianity, which they adopted shortly after Constantine. Missionaries established monasteries, translated the Bible, and worked to popularize Christianity. The fortunes of Christianity in Ethiopia reflected the larger political experience of the region. In the 7th century, the ruling house of Aksum will fall into decline, and the expansion of Islam left an isolated island of Christianity in the Ethiopian highlands. This isolation led people of Aksum to turn inward. They occupied the Ethiopian highlands, lived in fortified towns, and practiced terrace farming. During the 12th century, a new dynasty is going to promote Christianity as the foundation of cultural unity within this land. It was established through war, conversion, and compromise with non-Christian neighbors. Under the King Lalibela, 11 churches were established in the town that bears his name. In the 13th and 14th centuries, another Christian state is going to emerge, claiming its origins dating back to the marriage of King Solomon and Queen Sheba in the Old Testament. From the 12th century to the 16th, Christianity enjoyed a particular favor in Ethiopia. During the centuries after Islamic conquests, Ethiopian Christians had little contact with Christians in other lands. Therefore, Christianity reflected the interests of its African devotees. Ethiopian Christians believed that evil spirits populated the world, so they carried amulets and charms for protection against these menacing spirits. In 1542, a Portuguese expedition will defend the Ethiopian kingdom from one of its Muslim neighbors, which was backed by the Ottoman Turks. Afterwards, the Portuguese attempted to bring Ethiopian Christianity into Roman Catholicism, but it failed, and Ethiopia retained its independent form of Christianity.